everybody, it's Debbie from the Inspiration Station. I'm here today with a video unboxing of a Country Craft Creations mystery box. Something a little bit different. Um, I don't normally get mystery boxes or grab bags or that sort of thing. But um, I've been hearing that Country Craft Creations is very generous in their mystery boxes. So I've watched a few of the um, unboxing videos and it seems like everyone shows the large box. No one's ever shown the small box. And so I decided to order the small box just to see exactly what I get. Um, so I'm gonna flip this over and open it up and hopefully not make too much noise with all the plastic. But just so you know, um, this small box is $34.99 and shipping was $8.25. So the total was $43.24. And um, it looks pretty chunky here. There's a lot of stuff. So I think we're going to get started, Let's see what we have, get rid of this plastic so there's not so much glare. Okay. So right away I can see it looks like it's mostly Christmas stuff which makes sense because it is February and, you know, they're trying to clean out their warehouse. Um, so let's see what we've got. Um, to start with, I have to open this because it's got some ephemera here. This is the Yuletide Collection by, hmm, I don't know who. I guess I should put my glasses on so I can read it. Um, oh, Blue Fern, Blue Fern Studios. Looks very pretty. Very um, vintage looking. I have to open this just to see what it is because I have not seen the blue fern paper. So it's eight by eight. Oh yeah, very vintage. Quite pretty though. So it looks like, yep, two sheets of each design. So let me see if I can do this a little quicker. Oops, that thought that was more than one. This is very pretty. I love the birds. Okay. And then we have the skaters. Very cute. Lamp post and another bird. Yeah, this is very pretty. I'm not sure what I would do with it right now. Um, with Country Craft Creations, um, Tamara makes a lot of mini albums and folios, and I used to do that as well. Um, I just haven't done it in a long time. I've been doing much more scrapbooking layouts lately. So um, I may have to go back to making making folios or, or albums because this is just really pretty. So that's the paper. It's the 8x8 collection. I'm going to guess, I, I don't know the retail prices on most of this stuff, but I'm going to guess it's an 8x8 pad. It was probably $10 to $12 um, when it was, you know, when you purchased it. Uh, the ephemera, oh, the ephemera looks gorgeous. I'm not going to open all of it, but it looks like good sizes. Um, very pretty. Very pretty. So, you know, usually ephemera packs are, are 5 to $7. I don't know. Again, I'm not familiar with um, Blue Fern Studio, so I don't really know. Okay, and then it looks like we have a whole collection of Echo Park Christmas Magic. Let's see what we have here. So we've got the decorative brads and the chipboard. I just wanna bake cookies and watch Christmas movies. Yeah, today would have been a good day for that. We had um, a lot of snow and sleet and freezing rain. So yeah, cookies and Christmas movies would have probably been really good today. Um, okay, so what do we have? We have the sticker sheet. And the double-sided paper. Two, three. So I'm thinking this is a complete collection. Six, seven. Oh, I should probably move this over so you can see it. I don't know if it was in frame way over there, but really cute cut-aparts. Very usable paper. 
yeah, I think this is a complete collection because there's at least 12 sheets here. Um, is that a duplicate? Nope, nope, just uh, another set of cut-aparts. Oh, and then the solids, the coordinating solids. That's always great to have because no matter how much cardstock I have, I can never seem to match the exact color. So that's a complete collection. So I do know that these are $6. Um, usually the collection packs with the stickers are about $15. Chipboard is usually maybe six and the brads are about six. So um, I think I've already gotten my money back at this point with just what's here. Oh, this is very pretty. This is uh, Simple Vintage from Simple Stories, The Great Escape. It's two of the banner stickers. Those are really cool. I could see cutting those apart and using um, using elements from them if, if I didn't need to use the whole banner. Um, yeah, very pretty. I like that. And it's not Christmas. Um, and then we have what looks like the Jingle All The Way collection. So again, I, this is primarily Christmas. Um, so that's what we're gonna what we're gonna see here. Oop, I lost my brads. Okay, so again, the decorative brads, the adhesive brads, and really a lot of these can be used for other things. They don't have to be Christmas. Um, the plaids are great for masculine pages. We've got some pearls on there, so those are are usable. Um, then we've got the sticker sheet. There was also um, the chipboard phrases. I like this, this is good. We can, uh, you know, I can do December daily, I can put these on packages, and I can also do layouts with them. So that's, that's excellent. Okay, the sticker sheet. Oh, I love this plaid. So some, just some all over prints, uh, cut aparts. This is, did I say Echo Park? Jingle all the way. I love this. I had um, a similar paper a couple of years ago, the wood grain with snow on it, and I used a lot of that. So this is great. This is not Christmas to me. This is just winter. Uh, the wood grain, I will definitely be using that other than Christmas. The icons. This red, so it looks like the B-sides are all very um, generic. So that's great because I have more Christmas than I know what to do with, uh, which is the only downside of this kit, um, honestly, that it's it's all Christmas and I have so much Christmas. But a lot, like I said, the B-sides are great. I can use those all the time. And it certainly um, is well worth the $35 that I paid for the kit. So... Yep, very pretty. Oh, well, Santa's cute. But I do like the plaids. I'll use those all the time. There's just the cover sheet. So we've got um, one, two, three Christmas collections there. And two sets of stickers that were from the um, Great Escape. And then this looks like probably a whole collection of Home for Christmas. And it looks like there's a die in here. So that's awesome because, you know, I use a lot of dyes. So again, decorative brads. Oh yeah, oh, this is perfect because I use the greenery. That's, I can use year round on other things. So excellent. And then let's see, chipboard frames. Yeah, these frames are good. I can use these for things other than Christmas, especially the black and white that can go with farmhouse red can be used for birthdays or valentines or anything like that so very nice here is the sticker sheet really pretty icons i mean i it's not that i don't like christmas papers i actually love them so much that's why i have so much of them um and i just never seem to get through it all uh, so these are really nice i love the truck i love the poinsettia Oh, the bench with the, the throw on it. Very nice. Okay. Oh, this is Cartabella paper. I can tell all the texture. I love Cartabella paper. The weight and the texture is awesome. 
So this is uh, dark green, like an evergreen, and it has a darker uh, tone on tone um, snowflake pattern. Really like that. The back, let's see, I hope this is all in frame. Um, I know I had this section in frame. I'm not sure if you can see all, all the way over here. Um, these would be great to cut apart for just little tags to put on anything. This ticking stripe is awesome. I really like that. And there's your cutter parts. I like that they're not just the cards. They have different sizes. We've got four by six, we've got three by four, two by two, and then these little word phrases, those are great. We've got a black plaid, red snowflake. This green is awesome. This is the same, I think the same green as had the snowflakes on it, but this has little X's on it. So this is definitely one I can use for outdoors or for masculine pages. It's just a really nice green. Oh, the back side is Letters to Santa. Those are very cute. A red plaid, that's nice. Oh, I like this side. Very pretty. Yeah, I have so much Christmas. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this. Um, <laughs> I will use a lot of it. This green, um, it has a tone on tone with just like a little, it's almost like a little flower type, like three petals, cute. And then these cut aparts, or it can be just a background page. Um, I like this, if you cut it in half, you can use, you know, just half of the page. It's got some really nice sayings on it. There's that green. Oh, you know what? I really like all this green in here because it's so usable for me. And the trees, very nice. The red. Oh, there's a lot down here. Um, more florals. The um, black and gray plaid, awesome. Oh, these are nice too. Yep, I could definitely fussy cut these for a page for embellishments. Very nice. A little Christmas trees. They're very cute. More cut aparts in the four by four size. Oh, I love that front door. That's really nice. White shiplap with black snowflakes. Very nice. And then more cut aparts. Yeah, they, you know, they're all very nice. And of course it's Cartabella paper, so you can't go wrong. And then it looks like I have a packet, a whole pack of the solids, right? Cause there's two red, two green. Oh, the backside is black. The back of the green is the shiplap. That's nice. And then sort of a burgundy with the dark green. Yeah, definitely, definitely usable. So I have, let's see, like I said, these are about $6 a piece and there were two of those in here. So that's 12. These collections are generally 15. And I had one, two, three of those. So that's $45 right there, not including the, the $12 for the things. And then all these embellishments and the dies, um, yeah, definitely well worth the price for these mystery boxes. Um, so people were not lying when they said that Country Craft Creations is very generous when they fill their boxes. Um, if I had anything negative to say, it would be just that this box happened to have a whole lot of Christmas in it and I just don't need more Christmas. Um, but I will use it. I will find ways to use it. Um, and of course the solids are always awesome. And I do love all the colors, so, you know, I'll find other things to use them for. Uh, and this is just very different. This is completely different. The uh, Blue Fern Studio, very nostalgic. Um, let me see, I'm, I am gonna pull these out now that I'm done looking at all this stuff. I can get them out of here. These little birds, very cute. So the ephemera, let's see, let me find a solid to put here so that they're easier to see. green up here. There we go. So we've got some birds. Oop. Dropping everything. A little slide, old-fashioned Kodachrome slide holder. Floral. Oh, very pretty cabin type. 
winter house scene. The poinsettias with a, oh, that goes this way. It's got a candle on it. That, are those cinnamon? I, I can't tell if those are cinnamon sticks or if they're just twigs of some sort. You can make them whatever you want. Snowflake, the holly, oh, the ice skates, cute, a little ornament. And there's a whole bunch more here. These are much, these are mostly the smaller pieces. I'm gonna have to probably move these aside. The sleigh. Now this is interesting. It's like the, the buttons on a shirt. It's like somebody just ripped the, um, or cut the, the uh, paid part of the shirt that has all the buttons on it. Kind of neat. More pine cones and uh, snowflakes. So now I'm gonna move those. So we can see, because there's still a whole bunch here. We've got bells. And that's just some sort of a, a floral arrangement, it looks like. Very Victorian looking. The lady. Oh, this is a big one. This is a, like a whole collaged piece. That would be a nice statement piece. Um, another snowflake. So we have three of those blue snowflakes, which is nice because if you're going to use them as embellishments, you always want to put threes. That usually looks best. The flowers, season's greetings. Oh, we got four. Sorry. I was wrong. Okay, greetings and more of pine cones and joy. So beautiful, beautiful ephemera. And you know what? The packaging you could use too. Just cut that part off and then you've got a really nice... Um, card for journaling or just putting on a, if you're doing a folio or a, an album, you could definitely use that to cover a pocket. Very pretty. So that is the small mystery box from Country Craft Creations. I think it was well worth the money, absolutely, you know, well over the value that I paid. Um, I'm glad I didn't get the large box though, only because I'm afraid that it might have had more Christmas in it. <laughs> um, so I'm interested to see. I'm hoping somebody else will put up a video with the large box so we could see what they got. Um, now these boxes sell out really quickly. If you want one, you have to be a member of the Facebook group, uh, Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations, and then Tamara announces when she's going to have them. It's usually a couple of times a year. Um, you know, it's whenever they need to clean out the warehouse for new product. So um, if you're interested in them, you definitely need to uh, go over to the Facebook page and join and be quick because they sell out. Um, she posted that they were going up. I went on within like 20 minutes to order this. And then I thought about it and I thought maybe I should get another one or get the large one. And when I went back, everything was sold out. And that was only in like five or 10 minutes. So within half an hour, they were all gone. Um, so definitely, you know, if it's something you're interested in, keep your eyes open and, and move quickly, but uh, definitely a good value. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope it gave you something to look at and some ideas for, um, you know, what would come in a mystery box. And, um, you know, join me again for the next video. If you watched my last video where I built a kit, um, from some new spring papers. I did make a layout today, made my first layout with them. And um, I'm gonna do a layout share coming up. I wanna make a couple of more with that kit and then I'm gonna put those in. I'll probably combine those with some of the load event layouts that I've done. Um, I did not do the whole load event this year, just couldn't do it. It it just didn't work in my, my time <laughs> that I had available. but. I do enjoy it, and uh, I did make some really good layouts, um, great prompts. The, the prompts, the story prompts are always awesome, get you thinking. So um, look forward to that, and I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It helps to tell YouTube what you like, and so they'll show you more videos that you like, and also they'll show my videos to more people who are interested in scrapbooking or the same things that you are. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of these mystery boxes. All right, so for, the, for now, I'm going to go and
put all this stuff away and I will be back in a couple of days with a layout share. All right, have a great day.